$4,960 in purse money on the line in the Atlantic Sire Stakes for three-year-old trotters. We have a field of five, Dusty Red Lane with Paul Lanigan, Camco Flaming Red, Gary Chapel, Magian Chester, Jim Ripley, BJ Carmelita, Claire McDonald, and Buddy Moco on the outside for Ronnie Gass. Gate is at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Dusty Red Lane on the inside is going for the early lead. And Magian Chester is up second on the outside. We'll look for a seat at the cones. Moving in third, BJ Carmelita looking sharp. Then it is Camco Flaming Red. And the early trailer as they go down the back stretch is Buddy Moco. Single file now on their way to the opening quarter mile station. And on top and cutting it out is Dusty Red Lane. Then racing in second, Magian Chester. BJ Carmelita has third. Then it is Camco Flaming Red fourth. And Buddy Moco the trailer. And they were by the opening quarter, 31 and 1. On round that barn turn for the first time. And it continues to be Dusty Red Lane. There goes Magian Chester to the outside with some action on the go as Magian Chester looks to challenge that leader. BJ Carmelita will watch those two battle. Racing in fourth, Camco Flaming Red and the trailer Buddy Moco. And Paul Lanigan had Dusty Red Lane trotting past the half in 102 and four fifths. Dusty Red Lane, Magian Chester, now back in along the cones in second. BJ Carmelita is in third, racing in fourth, Camco Flaming Red, and on the outside from fifth, Buddy Moco, as they head down the back stretch, and once again, moving out of the pocket, Magian Chester is up there to challenge. Dusty Red Lane continues to lead it. Those two leaders battling, and Magian Chester puts a nose in front. Three quarters reached in 133 and one. Still with some trot on the cones. Dusty Red Lane, Magian Chester, and BJ Carmelita fanning out three wide at the top of the stretch. Coming down the stretch for the payoff. Magian Chester on the point. BJ Carmelita and Dusty Red Lane, but very tight as Magian Chester got the win. Dusty Red Lane in for second, and BJ Carmelita got the show spot. The time for that mile, 2.03, trotting the last quarter, 29 and 4. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner in the first race of the night, number three, Magian Chester. Three-year-old son of Nike's image from the Armbro Gold Mare system. He was bred by Salzbrook Stables of Nova Scotia, owned by Mary Lee Ripley of Amherst. Jim Ripley trains and drives. Second win from just five starts so far this year, and he achieves a brand new lifetime record of 203 over Connell Park Raceway tonight. Number three, Magian Chester. Receiving the cooler symbolic of the Atlantic Sire Stakes competition. Congratulations to Mary Lee and Jim Ripley, Executive Director of Horse Racing New Brunswick, Jeff Malloy, assisting with the cooler presentation. Was in behind the gate. Race number two is set to go for the $5,200 purse, the Atlantic Sire Stakes for two-year-old trotters. We have Windermere Norma, Ken Arsenault, Dusty Lane Nick, Corey McPherson, Crestwave Morning, Mark Campbell, Irish Lullaby with Dan McDonald on the outside for Dusty Lane Casper and Ronnie Gass. Here they come. Off stride before the start was Windermere Norma. They're off and trotting, and Crestwave Morning has gone straight to the front. Irish Lullaby up there to second quickly. Racing in third is Dusty Lane Nick. Then it's Dusty Lane Casper in fourth. And far back and still on the run, Windermere Norma 
is fifth. We've got a leadership change on the way to the quarter. Irish Lullaby takes over top spot, taking it away from Crest Wave Morning. Then racing in third is Dusty Lane Nick. Dusty Lane Casper is fourth and Windermere Norma. And they were by the quarter with Irish Lullaby in 32 and one. Irish Lullaby now by three. Racing in second is Crest Wave Morning. Moving third, Dusty Lane Nick. Dusty Lane Casper has fourth and Windermere Norma. Down the stretch for the half they come. And Dan McDonald has the lead with Irish Lullaby. She's up by two and a half. Racing in second spot, Crest Wave Morning. Then it is Dusty Lane Nick and Dusty Lane Casper. And far back and out of contention, Windermere Norma. And on past the half they were going with Irish Lullaby. In 103 and 1. Irish Lullaby now by two as they trot down the back stretch for the final time. On the outside making a move is Dusty Lane Nick. That one now is up to second and is at the leader's wheel. Irish Lullaby and Dusty Lane Nick with uh, nose in front. And in behind those, Crest Wave Morning is in third position. Dusty Lane Casper and Windermere Norma. They were by three quarters in 135 and 4 and Dusty Lane Nick on the outside can't get past Irish Lullaby fanning out three wide is Crest Wave Morning coming for home Irish Lullaby Dusty Lane Nick and Dusty Lane Nick catches in a, to another gear as they come for the line Dusty Lane Nick has got it over Irish Lullaby and Crest Wave Morning got the show spot the time for the mile 208 and 1. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of race number two, capturing the two-year-old trot division in the Atlantic Sire Stakes. Number two, Dusty Lane Nick. Two-year-old son of P.J. Nabby from the Somali Park Mare, R. Goldie Lowe, bred by Bill Andrew of Calgary, Alberta, owned by Blaine and Sandra White of Bell River, Prince Edward Island. Blaine is the trainer and Corey McPherson is the driver. Dusty Lane Nick recording a maiden mark tonight in 208 and 1. Number 2, Dusty Lane Nick with Corey McPherson. Starters are in behind the gate for the Atlantic Sires Stakes for three-year-old trotters. We have a field of six. Et non il a dulci with Mark Campbell. Molded image, Shane Bernard. My Daisy Duke, Corey McPherson. Magian Dillon, Jim Ripley. Sweetwater Ruckus, Claire McDonald. Dusty Lane, Daisy, Kenny Arsenault. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Sweetwater Ruckus goes straight for the lead and Molded Image will settle in in second position as they go on around the turn. Sweetwater Ruckus continues to show the way with these three-year-olds and they're on their way past the eighth mile marker. Molded Image is in second. Then it's My Daisy Duke in third spot. Eno Ila Dulce is in fourth position as they go down the back stretch for the opening quarter. Next up, as they go past that quarter with Claire McDonald, Sweetwater Ruckus leading the field past the opening quarter in 31 and 3. Sweetwater Ruckus, Molded Image is in second. Action to the outside now as My Daisy Duke makes a move from third and they come off the top of the turn and move in front of us for the first time on their way to the half. Sweetwater Ruckus and Molded Image in second. Racing in third now is Magian Dillon. Enoila Dulce is next in fifth. 
as they go on past the half. 103 and 1 was the time for Sweetwater Ruckus, leading it by two. Sweetwater Ruckus and Molded Image. Up to third now, Majayan Dillon on the outside. Three wide move from Eno Ila Dulce, that one going after the leaders right now. And they move down the back stretch. Racing next, it's Dusty Lane Daisy. And after making the miscue near the rear of the field, off stride now, Eno Ila Dulce. Three quarters in 134 as they trot on their way home and Sweetwater Ruckus continues to lead it. As they come down the stretch for the wire, Sweetwater Ruckus being chased by Majayan Dillon, but Sweetwater Ruckus got the victory. Majayan Dillon second, Molded Image got the show and the time for the mile, 2.04 and one. Ladies and gentlemen, parading back your winner of the third race in the Atlantic Sire Stakes for three-year-old trotters, number five, Sweetwater Ruckus. Three-year-old son of Bo W. from the Nike's Image Mayor, Salzbrook Image, bred by the Sweetwater Stables of Prince Edward Island, owned and trained by Ralph Anir. Claire McDonald picks up the driving win, second victory from two, make that four starts this year. And the time for the mile tonight, 2.04 and 1. Number 5, Sweetwater Ruckus and Claire McDonald. Atlantic Sire Stakes for the two-year-old trotters, and we have a field of six. Column with Ken Arsenault. I'm Graceful, Gary Chappell. Dusty Lane Major, Ronnie Gass. West River Excel, Claire McDonald. Northern Dust, Paul Lanigan, Taley Sin, Mark Campbell on the outside. They're at the head of the stretch. Here they come. Off stride behind the gate was Column. They're off and trotting. Off stride as well, Dusty Lane Major. Northern Dust is leading the field as they go on for the opening eighth mile marker. I'm Graceful has a second position. Then it's West River Excel in third. Taley Sin is in fourth, then Dusty Lane Major further back, and behind that one is Column as they go on past the eighth mile marker and head down the back stretch for the first time. Racing on the lead and up by about two and a half. That is Northern Dust racing in second. I'm Graceful. Moving in third position is West River Excel, and Taley Sin has fourth as they were on by the opening quarter in 32 seconds on round the barn turn for the first time northern dust continues to show the way i'm graceful is second moving up on the outside west river excel is on the go as they come down the stretch for the half taley sin is fourth and they come for the half paul lanigan has the controls and cuts the numbers with northern dust on the outside quickly up to challenge west river excel i'm graceful is third Taley Sin fourth, then Column and Dusty Lane Major. And they were past the half in 104 and 4. West River Excel to the front on the outside. That one now puts a length in front and will clear to the top. I'm graceful digging in on the outside as well. Quickly right up there to challenge. And Northern Dust now is third. Taley Sin fourth. I'm graceful with a big move down the back stretch. And Gary Chappell leads this field past the three quarters in 136 and 1. I'm Graceful and West River Excel. Northern Dust is third. Taley Sin moving to the outside to contest for third spot. Off the top of the turn. And they come down the stretch for the line. I'm Graceful. West River Excel. Gary Chappell is motionless in the bike coming for the line. I'm Graceful. Got it. Over. West River Excel. Northern Dust picked up third spot. And the time for the mile, 2.07 and 2.
Ladies and gentlemen, now parading back to the winner's enclosure here at Connell Park. Your winner of this two-year-old trot division in the Atlantic Sire Stakes, it's number two, I'm Graceful. Two-year-old daughter of Northern Bailey from the King Conk Mayor, Picture of Grace. Bred by Chris McKay of Kensington PEI. Chris is a co-owner, also co-owned by David and Debbie McMurdo. Stacy Lund is the trainer. Gary Chappell is your winning driver. Maiden Mark, the first career victory coming tonight here in the fourth lifetime start in a time of 2.07 and 2. There's your winner. Number two, I'm Graceful and Gary Chappell. All set for the restart in the Connell Chrysler and Valley Honda Pace. Roth Peruvian High, How Max Up Tempo, EF Amazon, Georgie Girl, Trisha's Beauty, Fox Valley Merlin on the outside. The trailing horses are Pembroke Paycheck and Lira Lira. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Georgie Girl, once again, is aggressive in the early stages, wants that point position, and she'll take it from EF Amazon as that one is on the go. Roth Peruvian High is off stride. Roth Peruvian High is the horse that is off stride on the cones as they go down the back stretch for the quarter. Georgie Girl, the leader. EF Amazon, a second. Ducking in to the third position on the cones. That is Trisha's Beauty. Up next, How Max Up Tempo and Fox Valley Merlin. Don Dickinson is there with Pembroke Paycheck. Then it's Lira Lira and far back and out of contention, Roth Peruvian High. They were by the opening quarter in 29 and three, rounding the barn turn for the first time. And on top and cutting it out, it's Georgie Girl as they move in front of us for the first time on their way to the half. Georgie Girl is up there by three and a half. Moving in second is How Max Up Tempo. Then it's Trisha's Beauty in third. Three wide move from Lira Lira towards the middle portions of the field. And Georgie Girl continues to widen that margin. One minute flat was the time for the mile. Time for the half mile, I should say. And Georgie Girl continues to show the way. How Max Up Tempo is second. Racing in third, Trisha's Beauty. Then it is... Pembroke Paycheck in fourth, up on the outside. Lira Lira has come to fifth. Then it's Fox Valley Merlin. Further back to Roth Peruvian High, and EF Amazon is now the trailer. They were by the three quarters. In one thirty-one and four, and Georgie Girl now is needing the line. Up on the outside, Lira Lira is on the go in second. She's up there quickly to challenge with inside of an eighth of a mile left to go. Lira Lira comes to the top. Georgie Girl is second as they come for the line. Lira, Lira, Pembroke Paycheck digging in on the far outside, but Lira, Lira has got the victory over Pembroke Paycheck, and Georgie Girl picked up the show. The time for that mile, 2.05 and 2. Number eight, Lira Lira. Five-year-old son of Western success from the No Nukes Mayor, CR Blaze of Glory. Owned by Christopher Davidson of St. John, Tommy Gunn is the winning trainer. Mark Haig picks up the catch-driving victory. It's the first win for this son of Western success in four starts this year, and it comes in a time of 2.05 and 2. He's received the cooler. Courtesy of Connell Chrysler and Valley Honda Pace and on hand to assist in the presentation, Mr. Grazier Callum. Lira Lira, your winner in the fifth for Mark Haig.
gate. Starters getting set for the sixth race in the ACOT construction pace. Rockstar Bayama with Mark Haig. Young Lark, Mark Campbell. R.E.'s Andrew, Scott Hubbard. Newco's Typhoon, Sam Hodgen. Villa Mac, Ed Harvey. RR's Wanderer on the outside for Dale Spence. The trailers Do You Believe in Me, Todd Trites, and Impish Art with Gary Chapel. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Rockstar Bayama is on the go, and he's going to lead this field round the first turn. On the outside, Villa Max was quick off the gate as well, and he gets a seat in along the cones in second spot. Do you believe in me? Use that trailing position to his advantage, and he's sitting in third with Impish Art in fourth. Looking to the outside, Young Lark is racing in fifth position. Then moving sixth, R.E.'s Andrew. Then next up, it's New Coast Typhoon, and the trailer is R.R.'s Wanderer as they were past the half. And on round the turn, they go with Rockstar Bayama. They were by the quarter in 30 seconds. Rockstar Bayama showing the way. Moving in second is Villa Max. As they come off the top of the turn with Rockstar Bayama and Villa Max, but action on the outside of the racetrack as they move in front of us for the first time. And on the outside, Young Lark bearing out from fourth position. Do You Believe in Me is in third. In between horses. That is R.E.'s Andrew quickly. Impish Art is next. Now Young Lark trying to get settled in sixth. Racing in seventh, New Coes Typhoon and R.R.'s Wanderer is the trailer. They were by the half in one minute and four-fifths. Down the back stretch for three quarters. And Rockstar Bayama showing the way. Moving in second. Villa Max is still right there and now at the leader's wheel as he moves to the outside. Do You Believe in Me is third. Racing in fourth is R.E.'s Andrew. RR's Wanderer has come from way out of it to get to fifth spot. And three quarters was in 130 and four. Off the top of the turn, inside of an eighth of a mile left to go, and it is Rockstar Bayama trying to lead this field. Mark Haig looking for back-to-back -back wins, and he's going to get it. RR's Wanderer. Check that. Rockstar Bayama is the winner. And up for second spot, do you believe in me? The time for the mile? 201. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner in this evening's sixth race. Capturing the ACOT construction pace, it's number one, Rockstar Bayama. Five-year-old son of Divot Hanover from the Abercrombie Mayor, India Bayama. Owned by Tommy Gunn of St. John. Tommy also trains. Mark Haig is the winning driver. Assisting in the presentation, Miss Woodstock and the first princess in the Miss New Brunswick pageant, Caroline Fletcher. Good to have Caroline assisting in the winner's circle festivities here this evening. Along with the executive director of Horse Racing New Brunswick, Mr. Jeff Malloy. Your winner of the six, the ACOT Construction Pace, Rockstar Bayama, with Mark Haig in a time of 2.01. El Nino Nico and Fern Hill Treasure. Elm Grove Camrose is right there in third as they come off the top of the turn and pace down the stretch for the half. Todd Trites with El Nino Nico cutting the numbers and on the outside to challenge. It is B. Willful. Then Fern Hill Treasure in third. Connolly CC is fourth. Elm Grove Camrose. Million Dollar Jewel is next. Then Canico Quick Set and Contact Jones, the trailer. They were by the half in one minute and four fifths. Down the back stretch for the final time. Three wide move on the outside from Connolly CC. And he's going after the leader. It's still El Nino Nico. Connolly CC furthest wide. Be willful in between horses. Then it's Fern Hill Treasure in along the cones. And Elm Grove Camrose is right there as well. They were past three quarters. In one, 32 and four. El Nino Nico continues to lead it. Coming up the rail. That is Fern Hill Treasure. With inside of an eighth of a mile left to go, El Nino Nico trying to be strong on his way to the line. Fernhill Treasure second. 
Elm Grove Camrose quickly. Fernhill Treasure and Elm Grove Camrose, the two of them right there at the line. Elm Grove Camrose at the cones and Fernhill Treasure on the outside. The time for the mile, 2.04. Your first of the winners. It's number one, Fernhill Treasure. Here in the Scotiabank Pace, a dead heat for win. Owner Paul Sewell of Rosedale and Gary Wright of Grafton celebrating this victory. With a seven-year-old daughter of Western Paradise, she's from the quick comeback mare, DeVita. Gary Wright is the winning trainer, and Mark Campbell picks up the catch-driving victory. Second win of this season for Fernhill Treasure, coming in a time of 2.04. Also involved in the dead heat for the victory. Here is the number four, Elm Grove Camrose. Owned by Sandra Foley of Fredericton, Sandra Trains. Bill Watts with the driving win. With the seven-year-old son of Race in Hanover. From the troublemaker mayor, Mystical Rose. Second win of this year for the gelding. Coming in a time of 2.04 in the Scotiabank pace. Dead heating for win, number four, Elm Grove Camrose and Bill Watts. All set for the restart here in race number eight. Campbell's towing and auto sales pace ready to roll with Chablis Bayama, Lady Mercury, March Past, Meadowland Griffey, Wild Western Abbey, Outside Jesse's Whim, Trailers, B. Ann's Legacy, and Royal Putnam. Gate is at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Lady Mercury between horses looking for the front. On the outside of that one is March Past. And in along the cones, Chablis Bayama sitting in third position as they go on round the turn. Moving in fourth, Royal Putnam. They are past the opening eighth mile marker. And on top and cutting it out, Lady Mercury hustling to the quarter as she is up now by three and a half. Chablis Bayama second, March past third. Then racing in fourth is Royal Putnam. Next up, Meadowland Griffey. As they were past the opening quarter, Wild Western Abbey was six, then B. Ann's Legacy, and further back to Jesse's Whim. Quarter was reached in 28 and four fifths. On round the turn and past three eights they go. Lady Mercury showing the way. As the field approaches the half mile marker, moving in second, Chablis Bayama, then Royal Putnam in the outside position third, following that one closely, Meadowland Griffey. Wild Western Abbey is on the move. March past is right there as well. In seventh, B. Ann's Legacy and Jesse's Whim with difficulties in eighth. They were past the half in 58 and three. Racing to the three quarters. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. On top and cutting it out. It is Lady Mercury. On the outside, Royal Putnam. Three wide move. On the outside from Meadowland Griffey. And right there watching the leaders battle. It is Chablis Bayama looking for a seam. BN's legacy is on the move as well and far from out of it. Then Wild Western Abbey. Jesse's whim and march past three quarters in 130 as they come off the top of the turn and moving for the payoff. It is Lady Mercury continuing to lead it, but she's got challengers on the move. Lady Mercury looking for the line and getting tired. B. Ann's Legacy on the outside. B. Ann's Legacy got the win. Racing in for second, Meadowland Griffey, and Lady Mercury picked up the show spot. The time for the mile, 2.03 and 3.
Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. In race number eight, it's the seven, B. Ann's Legacy. B. Ann's Legacy, the winner of the Campbell's Towing and Auto Sales Pace. Scoring for the owner, trainer, and driver, Sam Hodgen of Bloomfield. Fifth win of the season and only 12 starts for the three-year-old daughter of Largo. She's from the nuclear terror mare, Woodmere Night Dream. Time for the mile this evening over Connell Park, 202 and three. Number seven, B. Ann's Legacy and Sam Hodgen. Raceway on Friday at 7. Hope you can come back and bring your friends on Friday night. Here in the ninth, we've got eight of them getting set to go. The Power of Green with Mark Grant, Magical Alex, Todd Trites, Hustler Hall, Mark Campbell, Fighter Town Pilot, Mark Collett, Michael's Pleasure, Corey McPherson, Simca, Dale Spence, Hurricane Island, Stefan DeCourcy, Nicole's Baby with Mark Haig. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Magical Alex wants the front. He's determined and he's there by two lengths before they get to the turn. Now make it three and a half. Magical Alex on the lead. As they go on around the turn past the opening eighth mile marker, racing in second is Michael's Pleasure. Third for Hurricane Island as they go down the back stretch for the quarter. And moving on the outside, the power of Grin is now fourth. Then it is Nicole's Baby in fifth, and Magical Alex took them past the opening quarter in 30 and four-fifths. Magical Alex continues to show the way. Michael's Pleasure right there in the pocket. The power of Grin on the outside for Mark Grant. Moving in fourth position in along the cones, it is Hurricane Island. Off the top of the turn, they pace down the stretch for the half. Magical Alex, Michael's Pleasure, Hurricane Island. On the outside and on the move is Hustler Hall. Also on the go, Nicole's Baby. In along the cones, moving Fighter Town Pilot, then Simca. And they were past the half in 101 and 2. On their way to the 5 eights now. Magical Alex showing the way. On the outside, Hurricane Island is second. As they go down the back stretch for the final time. Magical Alex in along the cones. Michael's pleasure looking for a seam. And he'll look for a place to race as they go past the three quarters with Magical Alex and Michael's pleasure second. They were by that marker in 131 and 1. Magical Alex opening it up another gear. Michael's pleasure is second. Close for third on the cones. Fighter Town Pilot now comes to third as they come down the stretch for the wire. Magical Alex digging in. Michael's Pleasure is next, but Magical Alex got it over Michael's Pleasure. Very close. Oh, their Fighter Town pilot on the outside or Simca at the cones for show. And the time for the mile, two minutes, two fifths. Now parading back, your winner of this ninth race, the Sharps Auto Salvage and Waterworks Pace. Number two, Magical Alex. This is the second victory of Old Home Week for the five-year-old son of Herod's. He's from the Magical Mike Mayer Magical Ball, owned by Bob McNeil of St. John and John Laverick of Rothsay. Bob McNeil is the trainer. It's the sixth win of this season for the five-year-old gelding. Driven to victory once again tonight by Todd Trites. The Sharps Auto Salvage and Waterworks Pace goes to number two, Magical Alex. 